All right, so we're back here in laravel.com slash doc slash uh, 5.6 slash socialite. It's the same thing as going to Laravel homepage. You can click in on socialite. All right, so we're on socialite right now. Now, we can install socialite using composer. So we're going to copy this, copy, and we get a composer. Uh, we get a command line, right click. That means we didn't copy it, so we'll go back and copy. Copy. Go to command line, right click, and it's pasted. We click enter. So this is going to take some time, too. It may take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connectivity. As for me, I will have to pause this video until that installation is done. All right. Thank you very much. See you. All right, guys, I'm back like a boss. So our Laravel application has finished installing our Laravel Socialite. It's, Socialite is just a package that helps you to um, set up different social media login. I have a tutorial somewhere else um, where um, I have a tutorial where you can uh, the tutorial walks you through setting up uh, uh, social media login for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and so on. All right, but in this video, we're just focusing on Facebook login. All right, so if you read here, you see that um, in addition to, uh, to typical form based authentication, Laravel also provides a simple, convenient way to authenticate with auth providers using Laravel Socialite. Socialite currently supports authentication with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, GitHub, and Bitbucket. All right, so but in this case, we're just using uh, Facebook. Now we've installed it, we've run this, and we're going to have to go set up this. So we'll copy, and we're going to go to config services, config, we're in a config folder, we look for services. At the bottom, this is where you configure a lot of things that you'll be needing, but for us, we're just uh, trying to configure Facebook. So at the bottom of it, we paste this, and we call it Facebook, and uh, we copy, call this, um, our callback URL is going to just be localhost 8000 and um, something like uh, Facebook login. Uh, we'll create this later on, but for now, uh, we will uh, just put that empty space there, Facebook. So we're good to go. The next thing we want to do is to go and get the client ID and the client secret, and that is what we created in this voting application so make sure that you're on basic so once you're on basic and um, you're going to enter app domain that's localhost local host that's it just click localhost this is the app ID which is the client ID so we take the client ID come here and paste it um, this is env file this is pointing to your env file which I don't want we're just going to remove this. Okay, we're going to remove this. And we're good. So we're going to have to copy the client secret. Of course, I'll change this by the time you're gaining access to the repository of this application. I would have changed this thing. So you have to create your own application and um, enter your own details for it to work. For me, I'll just click on show so that this is to expose this. It will ask you for your Facebook details because you are the only one that needs to know this. So in my own case, I'm just going to have to enter my Facebook password. And uh, guess what? No, I don't want it. Save. So it has revealed what I'm looking for for me. I'll copy it. Uh, like I told you, I'm just going to, um, I'll delete this app from Facebook, so these numbers won't be useful by the time you're cloning this application. You just need to create yours. All right, now we've done this, uh, we're going to have to go back and see other things that we can do. Go back to Laravel application. Then in the routing, it's telling you that you have to go and uh, install use Socialite in your login controller. To do that, we have to remember that Laravel created a login controller for us. We we'll go to app, we we'll go to HTTP controllers auth, and we have a login controller. Look at this here. So we're going to import socialite at the top paste. So that is use socialite. Then we get back and it's telling us that uh, we have to paste these two functions login redirect provider 
and handle callback provider. So I'll copy from up here to the bottom. Copy. So we're just basically copying the two functions. And uh, if we look in the login, we they just um, there's construct and um, at the bottom here we'll paste. So now we've pasted these two things that we copied from um, the documentation. We change this to Facebook. Then we change this to Facebook. So this is where we are going to write uh, the code code for sign up and login so that once a user clicks it we're going to go to facebook fetch the details and sign up and login here all right thank you very much uh see you in the next video